OnlyFans ruined an entire generation. OnlyFans has completely ruined an entire generation. Dog, when I tell you, nuclear bombs couldn't even do nearly as much damage as what OnlyFans did to our society. Bro, I knew OnlyFans was getting bad when I seen people not even giving life a shot at the age of 18. <laughs> <laughs> he said they weren't even giving life a shot. No, actually, that's facts. But you can't, like, I, you can't really, like, I don't know how to explain this. But in my opinion, you can't blame them. Because that's what society deems, like, normal now. Like, just, oh, make an OF. Like, I'm not going to lie. If I was a girl, I'd probably try to make an OF. But, like, that's just, you know what I'm saying? Because it's easy bread, bro. You just capitalize on, like, lonely dudes and, like, it's easy money. I understand it, but at the same time, like, I mean, since I am a guy, like, I, I wouldn't do it. And I, hopefully, my daughter wouldn't do it either. What's up? Like, like I'm just saying, fans you know? Once the clock hit 12. If you thought that Reddit, TikTok, 4chan, <laughs> Why she had the two laptops? Damage, just wait till you hear all the damage no, that, that OnlyFans has done in this video. Now, for the first damage that I think OnlyFans has done to society is that it's normalized a lot of weird behavior. We live in a time you mean? where people get their back blown out in front of a camera for thousands of people to see, but it's somehow okay because they make a lot of money. That is not normal, and that is not something that we should normalize slash sure. celebrate. Look, I understand that these OnlyFans girls be having lambos numerous penthouses a few rollies and more money than i could ever imagine but at Facts. the same time they also have zero dignity if they can proudly brag about how their cheeks are getting clapped online for so 99 a month why are we flexing our cheeks getting obliterated online i just don't think that's that, that is just weird to me and thing about only fans is that it completely normalized adult films Red aka fun. porn like i swear back I then being an adult school, film star uh -huh, used to be one of the most frowned uh -huh. upon jobs type shit but only fans has W, that's a huge W, you know, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. good shit, good shit. Proud of you. Made it completely acceptable. Like if somebody told you that they did OnlyFans, you genuinely wouldn't be surprised nowadays. But back That's then, true. that would have been one of the most shocking things to ever hear. Another weird behavior that OnlyFans has kind of normalized is spawn camping young women until they turn. That's a, oh my gosh. Well, okay, wait, you said normalize? Yeah, okay, never mind. That, it didn't normalize. I was about to say, that was happening beforehand. Like, I knew of some shit that was happening beforehand. But, yes. Yeah, it is definitely normalized now. For sure. 18. For She's example, y'all remember when Daniel Bergoli <laughs> started... Hey, one hey, them C's get the degrees, though, bruh. Hey. Good shit. A week after she turned 18, and she made a oh, yeah. million dollars yep. within just six hours of absolutely insane, by the way. Releasing. That means that there were some grown adults out there that found Danielle Bergoli attractive as a young girl, but they wouldn't necessarily say that. So they chose their next best option, which was to wait for this young girl to turn 18. Now they can see her. And she must have knew too, because I'm pretty sure her DMs probably looked crazy, right? Because, you know, niggas love to just send dick pics in the DMs. Like, they're like a bitch is finna fly thousands of miles to go fucking fuck you because you just sent your dick in the dms like i don't understand like what people's thought processes be with that but she probably knew but i don't know if she could have known a million though bro a million is crazy like it, yeah it's crazy bro. i don't even like naked dude. legally like the concept of that being legal is just absolutely strange to me and whoever bought that only fans once she turned 18 needs to be locked up asap no oh, rock like i just find that insane because there's no way that the demographic of these people buying danielle bergoli's only fans were like maybe 18 19 20 21 they had to be like 40 year olds 50 year olds <laughs> maybe even some 30 year no but there's no way this thing look like that at 40 bro 20 21 they had to be like 40 year olds this is a crazy ass build, bro. Ted, I feel like one of y'all finna end up getting being built like this by the time y'all 40. Year olds, 50 year olds, maybe even some 18, 30. Uh, this is a greater. Wait, what? Um, year olds in there. And we know damn Type well shit. that a lot of these dudes that bought nah, you out of there now. Fans didn't just randomly stumble across Danielle Bergoli the day that she turned 18. These definitely dudes not. Guys definitely found her attractive as a young girl. And they yeah. just spawn camped their way until she made this OnlyFans. Now they can see her naked legally and go ham on the meat. Like, that's crazy to me. That is absolutely insane. There's also numerous TikTok. And that's a lot of like. That's a lot of foreplay. Never mind. That was been, that was about to be bad. Never girls mind. Girls out there who have also made OnlyFans once they turned eighteen, and they made bands because of these weirdos also like. From the first week of launching, wait, what? Thirty-five K. 
Wait, how old is she? Malu Tri... Is she 18? Wait, what? They spawn camped her too? Ad block, nobody cares! Malu Treva... I don't even know how to spell the girl name, bro. Age. Hopefully they know what I mean. Oh, 21. Oh, but, uh, I mean, they did, like, wait. Uh, unless this was, like, three years ago. It very well could have been. Should I look up when she made her OF? Nah, that's, that's getting too deep in. We're getting too deep in. Like, it's one of the weirdest things ever, and this shouldn't be something that's, like, normal, you know? And as I speak, there's probably some 16-year-old TikTok girl out She's there that plans to make man. an OnlyFans <laughs> once she turns 18. And there's probably tons of creepy old men waiting for that day to happen, which it's disgusting to even think about. If Chill I'm on Gale. Gale a go. the age of OnlyFans should be at least 21, but obviously that never changed because right now the age to sell adult content is 18 years old. And for OnlyFans... Yeah, I think, well, I don't think 21 would make it that much better either, but... I, like, bro, and the thing is, bro, people are going to do it regardless, bro. Like, they're going to do it regardless. So, it's like, they're either going to find underhanded ways to do it, or they're going to just try to, like, hit the system, right? Because cause there's some states that made, like, smoking cigarettes, 21. Nobody gives a fuck, dude. Like, you still go see, like, fucking 15, 16-year-olds fucking smoking and shit at school. Like, so, you know, it, it doesn't, it, it. It changes, but it doesn't change a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? It would stop some people, but the people who really want it, they would still find ways to, like, circumvent the rules and shit. Like, it... it I, I think even at 18 would probably be the best... Best case scenario, because there's no way to fully stop it. And at 21, you would... You know what I'm saying? You'd try to at least give them a chance. Like, all right, here's three years to live life, and if you can't, you know what I'm saying, tough it out, then you can start doing that, but... It's not gonna happen. If fans no. to change their age, the whole law would have to change as yeah. a whole, and that's never gonna change. And Facts. since we're talking about weird behavior from OnlyFans, there's a lot of lies that goes on with just the business itself. Like, there's a lot of grown women on there lying about being 18 and nine. Now that is the weird behavior for sure. No, we're gonna have some reality already. Um, yeah, I'm like in this like weird limbo. These crazy pigs during 19 Wait, years what? old Whoa. to sell more subscriptions, which is just absolutely oh, insane. Oh, oh. Even though those are legal, oh, type shit, type shit, hell yeah, hell definitely. Greece, oh my god, Greece is where the uh, never mind. Ages. I still think it's weird to lie about your age to sell more subs. For example, do y'all remember that one NPC TikTok girl, Pinky Doll? Mmm, ice cream so good. Mmm, ice cream so good. Gang, gang. So she actually used to lie <laughs> and say that she was 19 years old to sell more subs when in reality she was 27. And this actually happens a ton on Twitter. You'll see mad girls talk. Oh, dude. Twitter is bad. All of them. Uh, top 1%, 18 year old. I'm, uh, I'm 18 and I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, I'm the hottest 18. Yeah, bro. And it's just like, dude, what are we talking about, bro? Like. What do you mean? Like, why did you just say that? Ma'am, you're 29. Like, you're 29, your husband left you, or your boyfriend, whatever, and you're now struggling to try to, you know, make ends meet. Now you're on OnlyFans and promoting it on Twitter by saying that you're 18 years old and, like, posting thirst traps on Twitter with blurred images and being like, oh, come subscribe to see more. Like, bro. Get a life, bro. Talking about they're the hottest 18 year old on only. But there's people who buy the shit, so it's like I can't even be mad at them for it. Fans, whole time they're 47 mm -hmm. with six so, kids. I don't know where like, really. it's insane. A girl could legit be 67 years old with the saggiest yiddies of all time, but for some reason she's in every Twitter comment section talking about I'm the hottest 18 year old on OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, you were the hottest girl 51 years ago, Sharon. Hang it up. Like I said, I think it's weird to just straight up lie about your age to sell more subs. Like that's just disgusting. That's, and yeah, that's the just, old ass oh, men out the there fuck? that are buying these girls OnlyFans. They're also just as disgusting, if not even more disgusting. Now another reason why i think no they're more disgusting because they're buying the shit and like beating their shit severely to it beating the skin off their fucking meat to the shit the girls are just selling it like that's bad but it's worse whenever the niggas are buying it because they wouldn't sell it if niggas weren't buying it you know what i'm saying this could all go away if 
people just stop buying this shit. Literally. That OnlyFans completely ruined society is because it made the internet uh, even worse for women. Now, you're I never heard of it. Call me a simp and white knight for this, but just hear me out before you run to the comment section talking about my forehead is big. Just, just wait one second. Just hear me out. The nah, I feel like it's getting smaller though, Cam. I think it's getting smaller. The reason why I say that OnlyFans made the internet even worse for women is because right. it made dudes comfortable with telling random girls online that they don't even know to make OnlyFans accounts if they find them attractive. It's the weirdest thing ever. Like if a girl goes viral and she just happens to be attractive, the first thing that dudes are going to say is to make an OnlyFans. It's the weird. That's facts, dude. What, that's what happened to that one Hobby Lobby girl, bro. Uh, I don't even know what happened. I don't even know why it's she went viral but hobby lobby girl look look, look. where's she at was it hobby lobby oh shit it might not oh it was home depot it was home depot it was home depot home depot yeah home depot girl yeah this girl home De wait goes in search of houston's own home depot girl and rap video wait what the fuck but yeah pretty much she went viral as fuck, and everybody was telling her to make an OnlyFans, and tell your boyfriend that said hello. Nah, Shaq's a W man for that, bruh. But she had to quit her job, bruh, because everybody was fucking, like, roasting her. I mean, not roasting her, but, like, they were, like, harassing her and shit, and, like, calling the job and shit like that. Like, dude, this shit is so, like, bro. Shit is weird, bro. And they were, they found her so attractive that they wanted her to make it OnlyFans so fucking bad, bro. She had to like move states and all type of shit, bro. It was it was so bad, bro. So bad, like. And that's just like one example I can't think of off the top of my head. Like this shit happens all the time. Weirdest bro. thing ever. For example, do you remember the Home Depot girl? Oh girl shit! That's what I just said. Girl on Twitter because she was attractive and she worked at Home Depot. And the first thing that dudes were telling her to do that's once they saw said. her was to make Wait, that's only crazy. Fans. That's like, crazy. Keep some of these comments. Hear me out. Only fans and you equals rich. <laughs> if you want to make an Only Fans, real niggas wouldn't judge you. When O F. You're telling me that you see an attractive woman online and your first thought is she should make an OnlyFans? Like, I just find that insane. And honestly, I salute this woman to the fullest because at the end of the day, she chose her morals over money. She could have made life-changing bands off of OnlyFans, but she just chose to stick with her normal job and just create IG reels and make YouTube videos when the whole world was telling her to create an OnlyFans. Like, that is hard to do in a world where OnlyFans girls be having Lambos and just regular working women have right. Toyota Thanks. Priuses. Like, that is a hard task. And this actually happens. Hey, you could be on OF for the Toyota Prius and then try to sell it like you're just a regular girl, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make it into me, but then like, you know, man, I'd be shit, nigga. What? Let me manage an OF girl, bro. We'd be getting to the bag. To a lot of women that create content. Because if you look at their comment section on like IG Reels or maybe TikTok, or maybe even like if a girl is doing a YouTube QA, the first question that a lot of dudes are gonna ask is if that girl is gonna make it OnlyFans. Like, bro, it's crazy because if you do have an OnlyFans nowadays, people are gonna tell you to find God. But if you don't <laughs> have one, people are gonna beg you to make one. Like, it's a lose lose situation. Another reason why I think OnlyFans made the internet even worse for women is because it also completely ruined Linktree slash just women having links oh, in their bio. Facts. Like, y'all know how on Instagram, people usually will have like a link in their bio and that link will take you to maybe like a YouTube, Twitch, or maybe even like a clothing brand. Well, it's gotten to the point where if a woman has a Linktree in her bio, facts. the first assumption that a lot of dudes are gonna make, yep. even myself, is that that girl probably has an OnlyFans. And I click it to make sure that she does have it. And I'm like... 80% right most of the time. I click it 80% of the time she has only fit. If sometimes I'll click it and I'll keep on I'll scroll through her shit and then I'm like, "Oh, she doesn't have nothing that says like exclusive content. She don't got no sort of like there's a bunch of different sites now other than just OF, but like there's a lot." And yeah, she don't have none of that. And I'm like, "Oh. Okay. Okay." But then like maybe her twitter got a little some like some like lewd images or something maybe she got a reddit or something like you never know bro you never know but if she don't have it in her bio though i ain't going to lie then like hey you know what I'm saying? She might have to get DM'd or something. When in reality, that girl could just have like a Twitch link in that link tree, right? But since these OF girls are running so rampant nowadays and you can see them everywhere, every dude is going to automatically assume that any I saw one girl she is most popular on Instagram and, t and Twitter, right? She has links. I think on Twitter she has her Instagram. 
And then on Instagram, she has her, like, link tree or whatever. And then that has another link to, like, it's a string of links. And then, like, you end up on, you end up on her OF. Like, it's, it's a whole process. And I'm like, why the fuck does she do this like this? Like, you went on three different, like, three or four different apps, bro. And it took you, like, Twitch. And then from there, it took you to the, it was, it was a lot, bro. It, it, girl was, with it was weird. I'm like, why'd she do it like that? OnlyFans. Like, it's sad to say, but it's true. Another reason why I think OnlyFans ruined society is because it gave people this money over morals mindset. If there's Facts. one thing that OnlyFans has taught me, it's that people are almost always going to pick that dollar over their morals on any given day. The other day, I seen this post by Ruby Rose that said, yo bitch got morals, I got millions. <laughs> well, excuse me, Miss I never knew that having that's no a crazy, that's a crazy a post. That's actually a crazy time, post. I don't know. Girl, what else I would was never want somebody that said sometimes you have to lie about your age when it comes to NFL players. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, if I get a girl, like, I mean, I don't like, like there's no point, but at the same time, you got to get the shit off every now and then, like, you know what I'm saying. You can't forget where you came from. At type 16 shit. years old, she had no morals 10 years ago, and she still has Wait, what? no morals. Oh, players. Sometimes you have to lie about your age. What the fuck? At 16 years old, oh, she yeah, had nah, no she's morals wilder. 10 years ago, and she still has no morals today. It's insane. Don't get me wrong. Money is a really important thing in life because without money, you can't do a majority of things. But that money shouldn't matter if you don't have any morals slash if it goes against your morals. Like, not all money is good money. Yeah, Facts. that money from OnlyFans might be good, but at the same time, it comes with a greater cost, which is your dignity and future. Like, I swear, people don't even care about their digital footprints anymore because bro only fans literally leaves a permanent stain on your life it leaves a mark on your future family and i'm telling you once your kids find out that you did only fans back in your heyday that's going to be a pretty odd topic to even talk about y'all remember when that one blonde only fans girl l brooke was on piers morgan and she was basically saying how her kids are going to cry in a ferrari once they figure out that she did only fans oh how yeah do you feel when you want to have kids yourself well i mean that's i, I don't really want kids right now but, but at least you will how old are you 25. Right, so you will do at some stage, probably, right? Maybe. When you do, are you going to be proud that you have your little ones and they look at you and go, didn't you want to be a lawyer, mummy? What happened? Yeah. And you go, here, yeah, but look at all my stuff. They can cry in a Ferrari. Like, yeah, don't... It's like not a thought behind her eyes, bro. It's actually crazy, bro. wrong, that Ferrari is cool and all. It's pretty fast, and, I mean, it does look nice. But once your kid gets what out channel of that Ferrari that? and walks through those school doors, it's over for that man. Sick. It takes one kid in that school to find out uh, you did OnlyFans. Now your son is getting his head dumped into a toilet on a Wednesday Everything morning before P.E. Oh, facts. What the fuck? Yeah. Shit, you could even find the OF shit for free. I ain't gonna Class. lie. You're I ain't never paid for no shit. Telling me that it's okay that you get clapped online, pile drive, put in a DDT, and put in the walls of Jericho. All on camera for the world to see. But it's somehow fine because you have a Ferrari? That is absolutely insane. If you thought that bullying was bad now, just wait until 20 years from now. These roast sessions are about to get brutal. That's why you're ugly and your breath stinks. That's why your mom <laughs> did OnlyFans. <laughs> If your mom did OnlyFans, you might as well go mute because that's the safest option. Like these OnlyFans pictures are never going to leave the internet. I don't think people realize that. And also just because you retire from OnlyFans, that doesn't mean that the pictures and videos retire as well. For example, do y'all remember the ex film star Mia oh, Khalifa? Yeah. The other day, she was actually on Twitter talking about how the sick. Man, why is she too famous for this? Oh, about the Tyler Club. Okay. Like, I get wanting to cultivate that young audience, but at what cost? Stay away from these little streamers. Singer Tyla should stay away from these little streamers because Kai Snat and Tyla recently did a stream with each other. And when I tell you, all hell broke loose in the comment section because people just started dropping pictures of her getting clapped from like eight years ago, dog. <laughs> and that's what I mean by these. Nah, Rage is a menace on Twitter, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Never really leave the internet. It doesn't matter when you retire, these pictures are always gonna be there, dog. Facts. That scene probably happened ages ago. But like, and you can't even really argue with somebody on the internet if they can just easily pull up a picture of you 
with like three dicks in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because at that point, you just gotta be like, damn, all right. Like, are you, you just gotta take your L, gang. Like, that's that it, bro. That picture is now forever. And what's even sadder is that when these OnlyFans girls do try to be serious and turn their lives around, no one ever takes them seriously. Like, if an OnlyFans girl tried to transition into different content, like maybe YouTube or like Twitch streaming, it wouldn't work because a lot of people are only gonna see them as that girl that was getting clapped on camera. I mean, it has worked in some instances, but a majority of the time, it's not gonna work at all. For example, there was this one OnlyFans girl named Nala who basically stopped doing OnlyFans to pursue religion. And when I tell you, nobody took her seriously. Did she get baptized in semen? Biggest <laughs> meme of all time. This is delusion at its finest. Yo, why are they cooking her shit? Is you not choosing God? Yo! Honestly, like, even though it's messed up, these comments are messed up, I can understand why. Why are they because cooking her ass one, like that? It happened all of a sudden. And number two, she used to get clapped online, and that was her previous internet presence. Like, she went from worshiping the BBC to worshiping the Bible. Like, that's a pretty drastic change. That is, change. that is, So it makes that's sense true. why people don't really take her serious. But, but that just goes to show right, how much uh, of a stain uh, OnlyFans uh, puts on I did her it right now. You can't even convert to religion without people cooking yeah, I'm not gonna lie I still wouldn't date her I ain't okay like if 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 my girl had if it's easy to find pictures of my girl online getting fucked I don't even want to I don't want her bro I don't care it's good that she you know what I'm saying that she changed but I, I wouldn't want her I'd be friends with her though yo what's up Ezra on you and saying that you're doing it for clout or just bringing up your past like it's sad but at the end of the day like i can't really be mad at these people who are cooking on her you know all that being said only fans has done a lot of damage in today's society and i think that only fans is like the new cigarette of this generation hear me out wow because i actually think this is like a really great analogy at first cigarettes were cool trendy and everyone was doing it because i mean there really was no research backing up why cigarettes were bad yeah it was right. smoke going into your lungs but somehow in the 1950s and 60s that was considered healthy but now 60 years later okay. we've realized all the negative effects of smoking from all these studies we've done and i think the exact same thing is going to happen with only fans it may seem cool trendy and normal now but 40 years from now people are going to realize how much damage only fans has done to their lives i think these only fans girls could like whenever people get into like the prawn industry right they especially a lot of the bigger ones like they all leave it and they talk about this shit like hey this is you know what i'm saying like this shit ain't cool or whatever uh, and then they all start and now they're on of so it's like, OF is better than, like, getting into prawn, sure, but it's still not, like, that good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that good. So... It is, it's kind of interesting to see though, I ain't gonna lie. You can possibly go that route that a lot of these adult stars are going right now where they're unaliving themselves because of their past Facts. mistakes, which is actually really sad to even think about. Even though I don't really support girls doing OnlyFans and adult content, it is sad to see people unalive themselves for their past mistakes. Like, it's, it's really sad. And that's been happening to a lot of adult stars lately. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All that being said, this is gonna wrap up the video. If you guys made it this far, I appreciate you. If you guys enjoyed this video, Video, then I highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video. It'll be right up here on the screen. All that being said, thank you guys for watching. It's a good Let's video, out. I hate when Twitter does. Bro, ever since Elon like took over Twitter, all the comments be like fucking OF bots, bro. That shit be pissing me off, bro. That I have to work hardest for only to have a quarter of what they make it. <laughs> I just want to see this as empowerment. It's plain idiotic. No, for real, bro. Yeah, that is shit. I ain't gonna lie. Starting as one of my friends accused me, red pill kid. Turns out his girlfriend had an only fan. God damn, bro. I'm gonna the young boys are weird as fuck. Yeah. It's really like the people who are buying it's fault is really the people that are at fault, bro. I'm not gonna lie. If you're gonna blame anybody, blame them. Because they're the they're the dumbass niggas buying this shit, bro. Like dead ass. Because if it didn't make that much money, they wouldn't fucking do it. Simple as that. Like, that's the only way to really stop it, bro. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta go grab my food real quick. And then, uh, I gotta look up those pictures of, uh, Greece. BRB, TTYL. Oh my gosh, my...